Varicella, clinical findings, again, flu-like symptoms. And if you read about a rash that is described as having lesions in different stages of development, that's the key word that they are describing chickenpox. Because there may be macules, papules, vesicles, pustules, or crusting. Uh, so that's the key description to look for on your uh, test question. They appear in successive crops and they itch. Um, complications uh, can be relatively benign in petigo all the way to death with in, in between some pretty serious complications. Congenital varicella. Mom infected between 8 and 20 weeks of gestation. Characteristic findings. Scarring. Limb hypoplasia. Microophthalmia. And central nervous system uh, damage. This almost looks like an amniotic band injury. But if you see an amniotic band injury in association with a hypoplastic limb, that's congenital varicella. Because a, a amniotic band that wraps around a digit or a foot, everything proximal to the band is completely normal. The limb proximal to the lookalike here would be hypoplastic if it were congenital varicella. One other common test question in regards to varicella is this. What do you do for baby if mom gets chicken pox right around the time of delivery? And the answer is if mom develops chicken pox five days prior to up to two days after delivery, then that child should be uh, treated with VZIG because that child gets the virus but has not yet got the uh, antibodies. How do you remember that? Look at varicella. There is a Roman numeral five for five days before, up to two days after, a Roman numeral two, okay?